<laughs> oh, it's early. It's 7.30 and we're 30 minutes late. We're going on an unknown adventure today with our host, Grazia. Uh, he's been here for 30 minutes waiting for us because we didn't set an alarm. So, go us. But it's Saturday. Putting it together. Hello, I'm Grazia, I am 25 years old, uh, Airbnb host from Kotor. We are just about to leave to Monastery Ostrog, hope we'll, get, we'll have a great fun over there. As Grazia said, we are headed to Ostrog, this beautiful monastery built into a mountain. We've seen pictures of it and it looks stunning. But one of the things that we can't get over is how beautiful the coastline is here in Montenegro. Right now we're just on this kind of outlook overlooking Budva and it is so unbelievably beautiful everywhere along this coastline. There's just mountains running straight into the ocean. It's truly unbelievable. Just made it to our first stop while well, we're on the way for coffee, which I can't wait. Mama Pop. How do we bet? I will just put some bet. Yeah. I give one euro, you give one euro. Oh, you're going to bet for us. Yeah. That's probably best. Yeah. <laughs> Since we don't know yeah. anything. And then we'll just follow the results uh, in the afternoon. How are your fritters? Guys, yeah. Best ever. Best ever. <laughs> Those jokers were massive, man. Yeah, massive than usual. Yeah. yeah, that was a good breakfast. That bacon was insane. We're here at the Ostrog Monastery. This was built in the 17th century and then it was renovated in the 1920s after a fire. It's dedicated to Saint Basil. So it's built into the side of this rock face, which seems impossible. Uh, there is not uh, photography permitted in most of the inside, but it is just a sight to behold. I really wish there was more information printed. Of course, it's a it's an active church and a holy place, so the you know it's not a necessarily a tourist site. But there is so much interesting imagery, and you can feel almost the gravity of this place. I really just want to learn so much more about it. 
So the one area we were able to film was at the upper deck. So you take a staircase that goes up probably four or five flights, and then you can film up there a little bit. And we saw these gorgeous mosaics with golds and colors, and I wanted to know who was who. Was who. But they're just really fantastic. So we'll definitely be able to show you that. But inside, the frescoes are the, maybe the brightest that I've ever seen painted. This is the most visited holy site in all of Montenegro. It is a stunningly beautiful and unique place. so bright up here. The whole thing is white. We're closer to the sun. <laughs> I can barely keep my eyes open. It is just everything is reflecting light around here and the car ride. It was rough. It we was were, I mean it's a bunch of switchbacks. So traditionally people who are coming here, they are walking up. So we yeah. saw where you should walk up, but man, that would be a long long, steep yeah. walk up. We are wrapping up our day now that we are full of prosciutto and rakia. Big shout out to Gracia. Thank you so much for driving us around. And he did not have it easy. We were on some crazy winding roads on our way back from Ostrog and it was really nice of him to call his friends and open up the prosciutto house for us and get to see that process because right now there's just no one going to Nejos, and so it's more or less closed. We wouldn't have had that opportunity otherwise. So thank you, Gracia. It was a great day. Seeing Ostrog was insane and such a beautiful place. We will see you guys next time. Have a good one.